dam, the different dams, is they don't have a relationship to get the same dam. And it's only this year that I realised that. And I should have realised that a long time ago because at least Pimpernel and Palestine have the same dam. They don't have the same stars. They have two different, two different stars. So I should have realised that now. You see, I keep saying, I kept saying that they were sisters. And either of them don't have the same star, same dam. They have different star. They have the same star. So the total opposite to have seen Elisa Pimpin out, so there's no way they could have been related. I don't know where I got that from. I don't know where I got that from. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. You know, so I should have should realise that they couldn't have been um, sisters because they're the same. Just because they, because they don't have the same dam. They've only the same star. So there's no way they're related. They couldn't have been related. But um, they have the same star, but it doesn't mean they're related. Um, the only relation is they have the same, same dam. I didn't have the same dam, they had different, different dams. I can't remember who their dams are now. But their dam, the Tsar is, um, the, the Tsar is Teofilo. Rick Rack and uh, Favonia. Um, I was, I even telling everyone, I was even telling the tourists that these were sisters. <laughs> Favonia and Rick Rack. No, they no relation whatsoever. But, um, but they actually think they were. They actually look very like each other. They look very totally identical, they're totally the same colour skin, they're literally jet black. They're literally jet black. I actually think they were sisters, they're totally jet black. They're literally, literally cut the char charcoal, coal skin colour. Um so they really if you actually think they were sisters, but they're not. Um but they're actually beautiful. And I haven't seen Rick Rack at all this year and I didn't see a Rick Rack uh, I, I saw Rick Rack last year. I didn't see her this year. And I didn't see Favon I didn't see Favonian this year. I saw her last year, and I think I saw her two. And I think I saw her two thousand nineteen as well. I think it is. Yeah, I think I saw her two thousand nineteen. I don't think I saw her two thousand eighteen. I don't think it was. Her. I don't think it is. Her. I saw her two thousand nineteen, and last year. I didn't see her this year. Um, I didn't see a 2018. I didn't. Wait, I did. Wait, I did. I think I did. I don't remember. I, was, I had red hair. I had kind of, my hair is kind of, still kind of reddish at the time I met her. Yeah, I did meet her. Yeah, I met her in 2018. I did. I knew her since 2018. What am I saying? I'll have, to, I'll have to go over the years. I'm losing track. I've been there so long. I'm going to be five years. Five years. On 8th of, 8th of February. I'm going to be still five years. I'm going to be still five years. Five years. Five years. It'll be five years in February. Would you believe that? Yeah. The 8th of February. We'll be, we'll be officially five years at the store. But we, we went to the store the 8th of February. But we didn't manage to fill him anything. Fill him any. Fill him any. Um, any horses at the time. We only managed to fill in was the um, the museum. It's called the small museum that's that was by the Stallion stables. It's not there anymore now. They had the statue of um Arkle. That's the only thing we could manage to fill in. We were too late for the horses. So the following date we went back was the twelfth of February. That was when we first started filling the horses was the twelfth of February. That was our first push of the horses was on the twelfth of February. We got in we, we got a free pass, we got in free the following time following day we got in free because we missed out on the horses the first time the first day we got in free we got a free pass in so it was very kind of them let us in free because we were late in but we missed out on the horses because we were already in the stables so we only managed to fill um to fill in the uh, museum to look around the state museum and to some photographs that's all you could that's all we managed to fill in the first time and me foolishly enough such as a fool as i am I never filmed. I never went on camera since the from the since the very first day we went to stood for five years ago. I should have went on camera since the very first day, since the very first day we started going to stood. I never showed my face on camera until the end of um, until the um, end of um, end of May. Until the end of May, the thirtieth of May, I never sh I never put my face on camera, and I and I regret it now. I regret it not going on camera. I totally regret not going on camera from the very first day you know from from the very first day from the 
from the first day we shot on February 12th of 2017, February 12th of 2017, that was the very first day of shooting of the stud. I regret not showing myself on camera for the very first day of shooting. I totally forgot myself now to show myself, show my, show, put my face on camera. Um, I was, I was behind the camera. I was filming behind the camera, behind the scenes. I was getting lean on camera. I had lean in front of the camera until the end of May, until May, at the end of May. I totally regret it now. So to this day, I regret it now. So all I was getting was my voice over the camera. Lean was only filming me as I petting the horses or talking to the horses. I totally regret it now. I don't know why. What, what am I doing? You know, I totally regret it. And I'm watching it back. I keep saying to myself, oh, God. And look, at I'm just, what I can hear is my voice talking over the images, you know. And all, all I can talk is, all I hear is me talking over the images. You know, why am I, what am I doing, you know. Again, so I'm watching it back. I get very frustrated. It was just hearing my voice and not seeing me on camera, not seeing me petting the horses, not talking to the horses, you know, like I do today, you know. But why don't why I not do this from the very from the very off from the very first day from the very first from the very first um, day we started going to the store to over five years ago why don't I not do that from the very beginning you know go on camera from the very first day from the very first day over five years ago oh I totally regret it now so well, it would have been nice if I did over five years ago so I'd be able to look back from the very first day and look back and be what I, what, what I used to look like over five years ago all the different all the image all the image changes you know. All the different, all the different image. All my hair, all my hair, all my images, all my hair, my all my hair colorings and all my change of image and stuff like that. What I used to look like, oh, like going back 2017 right to the present day. All my changes, all my hair, and all my different colors, and all the, all the different outfits I used to wear to the start and during the day. Every outfit I used to wear, you know, because because I was behind the camera, nobody saw, nobody saw what I saw what I wore during the day, no, no one got to see my outfits that I wore to the stud, you know, because I wear different outfits each day to the stud, each day I go to the stud I wear different outfits, so nobody got to see what I wore each day I went to the stud because I was behind the camera. And I, and I regret it now, totally regret it, because I, I like to show myself often on screen, on, on the on front of the camera, and I, I don't know why I didn't do it, not, I don't know why I didn't do it from the off now. i going mad now, I'm watching it back and I watch it back. I have watched. I have watched. I have watched it. I have watched it back then. I have watched it once two thousand seventeen in a long, long time now. But if I do watch it back, I get frustrated because I, I, because all I see is just all I can see is images of the stud and my voice talking and my voice, it, 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 talking over the talking over the images. Just like it's kind. Of, it's kind of just you know. I kind of just just you know talking about a, a, a voiceover, a kind of a voiceover. I, I'm kind of narrating, I kind of like a kind of narrating about the stud, kind of doing a voiceover about the stud, and talking about the stud and talking about the horses, you know, other than showing myself on camera, like like I am now today, you know, <laughs> it's a bit, it's very frustrating not to see myself on camera, I know, but um, but but I'm actually glad that I do it now. I'm actually glad that I do it now. And the viewers can see me and see me in all my different fashions and stuff and different different images and. You know, and get to see what I can do best. You know, which is interact with the horses and do my whispering and stuff like that. You know, talk to them and communicate with them, and you know, and and to entertain the viewers. You, 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 all of you viewers, you, you, you all, all of you out there. Um, and I also enjoy doing it as well. I also enjoy in, in entertaining you all as well. And apologies also if you get a bit um worried or um are a bit a bit um on or a bit confused about my speech. I've mentioned to you a few times on my Irish National Stud blog or um my videos on the Irish National Stud I've mentioned to you a few times that I got a speech impediment of a stammer. So just a touchy this that you this in case you're confused or just don't understand about if my speech kind of plays up a bit. I've suffered from this since a since a child, so so just try to be a little bit patient with me, and um, try to be a bit patient. I do my best. 
it's not always easy to speak in front, especially in front of a camera. It can be very nervy spend in front of a camera. To, it can be frustrating sometimes. Sometimes I have difficulty getting some words out. It gets work. It gets locked. And sometimes I have difficulty starting a sentence. So try be a little bit patient with me. I've been. Mean, it is very hard and it can be very frustrating. But I do my best. I could talk fluent for a time, and next and then it would start playing up and. I difficulty getting words out or start to start difficulty starting sentences but I do my best, I do my utmost best. But there is support out there, there is help out there. You know, there is our there's organizations for people who suffer from um stammers and stuff like that. You know, there is um therapy, speech therapies and stuff. But I haven't been able to go to a speech therapy for a while and it is expensive. But um but uh, there is organizations and there is helplines out there if you want to learn a bit more about stammers, you can learn you can learn a bit more about it. If you want to learn a bit more about it, you can look up research online about stammers if you want to learn a bit more about it. Um if if you're not too sure and or you don't understand anything about stammering, you can look it up online. Um so and just know there's a there's um there's a course, it's called the Maguire programme. You can look up the Maguire programme, they give you more information about stammers as well. If you're not too, if you don't understand it either, I've mentioned to you a few times on, on the Irish National o over the years, um, as well, um. So, I mentioned to you again now, but just try be a bit patient with me. So, you probably notice that I can't, I, I've got this struggle, I have, I've got, I've got this struggle and speak there, and I've, and during the course of the. Course of the season this year, the still I've been having those struggles with my speech as well. I've been having very bad struggles with my speech during the season of the still this year and last year as well too. So it's been quite, it's kind of um, it's kind of I had good and bad days. So we can it can play up and it's it's mainly a lot of the time it's it's in front of the camera. The cameras can be very nerving, nerve wracking. It can be in front of the camera and because it's. It's all going to across the nation. It's going on to the internet. It's all going. It's all going. You know, it's all in front of the camera, and it's, it's all because it's going on the internet. All the viewers are going to see. It's all. It's going on YouTube, and people are going to be watching this. And that's also another thing. It's, it's, it's all. That's this the thought of it as well. It's making me. It's a. It's the nerves of people are going to be. It's going to be watching this. That's also about this. That's also what's. That's that's also what's probably pain on pain in my mind as well. Probably what's making me nervous that people are going to be seeing this. That's why my speech pays up sometimes too. It's also mainly down to nerves, the speech problem. So just try to be patient. With it. But anyway, apart from that, the stud has been very good and it's had its moments as well too. But um, but yeah. So I think I've cleared a lot of the mistakes and a lot of the errors. But I had a lot of great highlights and lowlights as well. A bit of upset, you know, with the certain members of staff. But I won't go there. But you know, kind of thinking you know, kind of know what I'm talking about because you know he's been picking on me from on and off since I started going to the store like nearly over five years, oh, nearly five years now. But um, I won't go into too much detail. But I think you know, I think you get the gist of what I'm talking about. Anyway, but um, apart from that, it's been a very good year. I'm sad it's over, but I'll be looking forward to going back on in February to a brand new year and hopefully it'll be a better year than. And then this year, and hopefully now that things with COVID and all the pan pan pandemic will ease down and everything will improve and everything will get more or less jump, jump, hopefully more or less get back to normal. I think that everyone can get back and get on with their lives, please God. And um, hopefully it'll be a good year at the start. I'm looking forward to meeting up with new foes and hopefully get reunited with my friends again. And hopefully with new friends, new mares as well. And hopefully get reunited with with the mares that I can get to meet this year. So like with one accord and Abergan Lass and Runaway Giant and Kat and um 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 Ephniloquence uh, uh, and um and Guilt Edge Girl, Simona, all of the mares I can get to meet this year, hopefully I get to meet meet next year. And Lethal Promise I will I've I've done I didn't think they'd have her in the stud that it stood at all yet. I didn't, didn't think she was in stud yet. Um, little promise. I was looking forward to meeting her, and Kiltara. She's another new mare, so I'm glad to meet up with her now. And hopefully now, the hopefully I'll get and, and Runaway Giant. I didn't think I, you know, I was quite surprised to see her name as well. Runaway Giant of all things. 
and see more now. Yeah, so so I'll be looking forward to hopefully get to see some of those mares next year. Could we get to see them this year and African lass as well. I hope to, I hope to see African lass. I'm very fond of African lass. And summer spice. I want to see Summer Spice next year because I never got to meet her this year. I'm just a bit gutted. I was actually gutted I never saw that I never saw Summer Spice this year. I'm actually gutted that I never got to see Summer that I never got to see my friend Summer, Summer Spice. Because Summer and Spice and I are very good friends. I'm actually gutted I never got to see Summer Spice this year. Gutted now. Really and gutted. I was just heartbroken that I never got to see Summer Spice this year. Really and gutted now, I never got to see her. She bowled this year with um, Elisa Pimpinel. So I'm just heartbroken I never saw her now because Summer Spice and I got a, got back a very long way. We've been each other since 2017. You know back you go back a long way. Me me and me and some some Summer Spice. She has this trick. She always puts her she'd say hello to me for a few minutes and then she'd turn her bum, she'd put her bum against the fence, she drove her bum against the fence, you know, and she she'd want me to massage her bum or something. She has this this really cheeky looking thing, cheeky looking minx. <laughs> She's quite funny. But anyway, but um, that's the end of my blog for today. But uh, I'll talk to you more about, uh, give you more highlights maybe tomorrow. Thank you, folks.